Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, and welcome to Command Power, the show in which we discuss all things Magic the Gathering with a focus on Commander. And today we have a brand new deck tech for you, but before that, just a quick reminder to please click like and subscribe if you enjoyed my videos. We're well on our way to a million subscribers and every single click counts. And today's deck tech is going to be centered around Andrag the Quake Mole. For two colorless, one red and one green, it's a legendary creature, Mole God 8-4, with whenever Andrag the Quake Mole becomes blocked, untap each creature you control. After this combat phase, there is an additional combat phase. And three colorless, two red and two green, Andrag must be blocked each combat this turn if able. Now this guy has been incredibly controversial since he was spoiled for a couple of reasons. First, the stats are insane for a four drop and just kind of represent the power creep that we've been seeing getting into the game lately. Obviously this is a legendary and a mythic, but still an 8-4 for four, four is pretty jarring to look at. But on top of that, it has a lot of upside and that's where the real controversy has come in because it is fairly easy to get a ton of attacks out of this. All you need is a way to make it indestructible or not die and you can just kind of keep going. There's even a couple of ways where you just go infinite as long as there's creatures on the board and we've also included those in the deck of course but in general it just seems like a very easy card to break or to make very strong and with that in mind we're going to try to push it as far as we can. Obviously we're going to include a few cards that give our opponents creatures because we want to make sure that they have something to block this with and then we want to include ways to protect it so most most of the deck is just going to be focused around that. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started. And we're starting off with a Crowan Horse. This card is obviously great because it's going to keep giving tokens to your opponents, which they are then going to have to block with. Obviously, you should attack the player that controls the Crowan Horse last, so it can first provide a bunch of 1-1s to your opponents. Next up, we have Anara Wolvid Familiar. Now, this is a very powerful one because it gives indestructible to our commanders during our turn, which is exactly what Andrag wants. General Marholt Els Dragon is a very powerful one in this deck. Once we have ways to force our commander to be blocked, this is going to basically stack up and give him plus three plus three for each creature blocking him. Now that's going to be a lot of buffs. And if we find a way to give Andrag Trample, and we have a couple of those in the deck, then it should be very easy to finish the game with this. Goblin and Archomancer is obviously going to be great in a deck that is Gruel by giving discounts to our spells. Goreclaw not only works to discount our commander, which is great once we have to pay commander tax on it, but then it's also going to give it trample and plus one plus one whenever it attacks. So that is obviously nice, particularly since we're getting extra attack steps with Andrak. A Jar Loyal Bodyguard is a powerful one because we can sacrifice it to have a really big turn with Andrag, but it can also just be there to protect our commander from a board wipe or a kill spell. Hunter Dragon provides three tokens for our opponents that can't block it, so it can still swing in for six in the air, which is good with the extra combat steps from our commander. It also means that our opponents are going to have blockers for Andrag, and we don't really care that they have first strike because Andrag drug is going to be indestructible most of the time anyway. Hunter Troll similarly provides a big beta that can swing in through extra combat steps but also gives our opponents three blockers. Clouth Unrivaled Ancient is really good in this deck. We can't use it on the ability from Andrag but we can use it in a post-combat main phase to just dump our entire hand very likely. Nath of the Dire Hunt is going to draw us a ton of cards seeing as our commander is going to be blocked quite a lot. It also has a triggered ability that basically does the same as Andrag's ability but for only three mana. Now Leah God of the Hunt is great by giving all of our creatures trample which obviously works very well with our commander. Ruby Daring Tracker is a nice mana dork that can later on turn into a pretty decent attacker. Savage Vent more works so well with our commander because we can use the mana from it to pay for his ability and obviously when you start getting extra combat steps this gets better and better. Salvala Heart of the Wilds is going to almost always draw us a card when we play Andrag and then she can tap for a lot of mana. Stonehoof Chieftain is a great top end for the deck because it's going to give all of our creatures trample and indestructible when they attack, it's also very difficult to profitably remove. Vigor works really well by essentially giving our commander indestructible and growing him as it does so. If we have any way to give Andrag Trample, this finishes the game really quick. Wolfgar of Icewind Dale is going to double up all of our attack triggers and we do have quite a lot of those, so that's very nice. And Xenagos, God of Revels, basically doubles our commander's power and since it triggers at the beginning of combat, when we get extra combat steps, this is going to happen multiple times per turn. Moving on to artifacts, we have Darksteel Plate, which is a way to give our commander indestructible. Dormagate prevents all combat damage that will be dealt to attacking creatures we control, which obviously works well with Andrag. Embercleave is very powerful by giving Andrag double strike and trample. Genesis Chamber is very good in the deck because not only is it going to give us extra creatures to block with, it's also going to give our opponents extra creatures to block with, which we definitely 
definitely one. Grappling Hook gives double strike, which is great with our commander's high power, but it also forces our opponents to block with a creature when we attack, so it's very nice. Hammer of Nizan works very well by giving Indestructible to Andrag, and it also auto-equips other equipments that we get. Infiltration Lens is a great source of card advantage in the deck, seeing as we're going to be blocked a lot. Lightning Greaves and Swiftfoot Boots are two good ways to stop our things from being targeted. Mithril Coat is excellent in this deck because it auto-equips, meaning that Andrag doesn't need to worry about damage. Shadow Spear, Grand's Trample, and Lifelink, which are great for our survivability. A Great Henge comes down for two mana if we have our commander out, which is obviously great, and it's just a really good source of card advantage and everything, really. The Skull Spawn Nexus is also going to come down for just two mana, and it just provides a nice little bit of insurance for when they do eventually kill our stuff, including our commander. Also, doubling Andrag's power ends games very quickly. For enchantments, we have Bear Umbra, which protects against the first time that our commander would be destroyed. It also untaps all our lands when it attacks, which is very nice and combos nicely with something like Kessig Wolfrun. Garruk's Uprising is going to give all of our creatures trample, which we definitely want, and it's also going to draw us quite a few cards. Indomitable Might is one of the best cards in the deck, because if our opponents can't deal with it, we just go infinite. So the way it works is we have Andrag with Indestructible, it gets blocked, we play this, and now we just assign the damage to our opponent's face instead of to the creatures, which means that their creatures are never going to die, our Andrag is never going to die, and we just get to keep attacking and attacking and attacking until everyone's dead. Invasion Plans is a surprisingly good card in this deck because it's going to force all creatures to block all the time. Seeing as our commander should be indestructible, we don't really care too much about that, but we also get to choose how our opponents block. That means we just get them to block with one creature each time to make sure that we get as many attack steps as possible. Rancor is nice and cheap and provides a bit of trample. Rhythm of the Wild works very well by making sure that we don't get stopped by counter spells and also giving all our creatures pseudo haste. And unnatural growth is going to make all of our guys pretty beefy every single combat. Moving on to sorceries, we have Irresistible Prey, which is a nice cantrip that's very cheap and does what our commander wants. Last Night Together is a little bit expensive, but it basically starts off by giving us an extra combat step and giving Indestructible to two of our creatures, which means we can just go ham. Revenge of the Hunted is another really strong one that's going to force our commander to be blocked by everything and get trample. And if we get lucky, we can actually miracle it. Frisco's expertise is going to draw us a ton of cards and then let us play something for free. Roar of Challenge is one of the best cards in the deck. It's going to force our commander to be blocked by everything and it's going to give it indestructible. And for instance, we have Deflecting Swat in order to protect our commander from unwanted removal spells. Heroic Intervention, which is basically going to do the same thing. Kazul's Fury can allow us to throw Anzrag at something for the last eight points of damage, which can be relevant. Obscuring Haze is really good because it only prevents damage from our opponent's creatures, which means we can just go ham with Andrag over and over. Return of the Wild Speaker is going to either buff our team to try to win the game or draw us a lot of cards. Tamiyo's Safekeeping and Tivar's Last Stand are just good ways to protect our commander for one mana. And both modes of you look upon the Tarrasque are very good in this deck. You either prevent all combat damage that will be done to you or creatures you control, which again allows Andrag to survive, or you give something plus five plus five and indestructible and everything needs to block it, which is kind of the same in this deck. Finally for lands, we have Forbidden Orchard, which is really good because it's going to give our opponents a steady stream of creatures that they're going to block with. Kessid Wolfron works really nicely by giving Trample to our commander. We don't even need to pump anything into the X. Sometimes giving Trample for just red and green is enough. And Tyrek Sanctum works really well because Andrag happens to be a god. So for just four mana, we can make him indestructible. It's a nice ability to have on a land. So there you have it. That has been our Andrag, the Quake Mode deck tech. What do you think about this one? I think it seems incredibly strong and hard to deal with, but I've also heard people say that they don't think it's that bad. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I read all comments and respond to all of them too. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click like or subscribe. It really helps the channel. And until next time, take care.